Those are cucumber plants. Right there. In a bag. Those are little marigolds behind it. They'll eventually grow up and become pest control. In my rainwater bin, trying to collect some good water for the for the container plants. And this is my compost bin. There's not much in there right now. Mostly I put eggshells, coffee grounds, and any leftover salad greens with no dressing, of course. Uh, this is a watermelon, which will be moved as soon as it grows up a little bit. I've got an idea for a trellis-like system for it. And this is my pepper garden. I have several different kinds of peppers, though not like the pepper experts. I uh, have one falling over here. We just got and are still getting. So I'll tie this up and it'll be fine. These two are regular green peppers. It'll turn red when they're ripe, actually. Then we've got um, two, I think, two jalapenos and two cayenne or other red hot peppers. I don't think they're actually cayennes. And then these two smaller ones, bushy ones with lots of buds on them, those are also sweet bell peppers. These two are sweet bell peppers, a different kind. And then uh, three jalapenos and three red hot. And you can see that we already have a nice jalapeno growing which is pretty amazing. Good soil. And then we have tomatoes, which are not even in bloom yet. But these are relatively new plants that I put in. This is squash, and you can see that I put lime on it, and the leaves are already greening up. I don't know if it's because of the lime I added or if it's because of the rainwater, but it's getting much happier. And this is my third tomato plant that I added most recently. Again, no blooms yet, but the plant is looking really good. And then we have over here basil. Basil right here, which will grow up and be a pest control just like the marigolds. Now let's go over to the in-ground in -ground garden. This is my broccoli and Brussels sprouts. And it was an experiment. It ended up going really well. I got plenty of broccoli, but now it's too hot to grow this stuff, so it's going to die out. I never got any Brussels sprouts, but I'll show you what they look like.
it's a spider. It's no big deal. Okay, and then here's the onion patch, and, and you can see that the onions are turning brown. The stems have turned brown and start falling over. That's a sign that your onions are actually ready. So I'm going to have to come out and pull the onions and see what I ended up with. And hopefully I've got some nice, good, sweet onions. This one is garlic over here. This is here. And they'll be ready in another few weeks, probably. Again, this one is... of Roma tomatoes starting to come out and say hi. I think I have six Roma tomato plants so I can make a spaghetti sauce fresh. Two of them are Heinz, Heinz tomato plants. You know, Heinz Ketchup Company, the Warren Buffett Company. They're the smaller ones on, on either end, but uh, I just thought I'd try a couple different varieties. And then the two uh, other pepper, the other tomato plants are just regular, uh, probably big beef. Big beef tomato plants. And then here we have just some cucumbers and squash on this edge. And they are looking pretty happy. They are not in bloom yet. Ah, but look. In there. There's a little yellow squash coming up. That's exciting. Okay, unfocus. Unzoom, I mean. Okay, so we got. And these plants are looking a little bit. Oh dear. Uh, a little bit light green. But that's alright. We'll figure something out. And we have red hamburger onions. I believe they're also ready to pull because they have bolted. That means they've gone to flower and are turning yellow as well. So uh, when it quits raining, I'll come out and dig up some onions. And that's all my new neighbors. What will probably soon be my new neighbors are out beating on their bushes. That's another story altogether. So that's the garden roundup for today. We should take a closer look at the peppers and see what we have going on here. We have lots of blooms, so we're going to be getting lots of peppers. Especially that one. Wow, look at all that. That's going to be crammed with peppers. That's nice. Peppers are good for you. One of the best foods you can eat. Okay, that's all for today.